You're so cute. You should be sleeping. You should be sleeping. You should be sleeping. Serpentin says, Attention! Hi! <laughs> Say, this is a video about reptiles. About what you looking down for? What are you looking down? About uh, how the aliens and hybrids like to rhyme. That's a characteristic of the reptile brain. They like to rhyme. Ain't that right? You should be sleeping, little girl. You should be sleeping. Okay, here is George Carlin, reptile number one. Doing his rhymes. Oh, shit, I forgot. I gotta turn it back up. Oh, wait, no, I don't. Shit, hold on. Now we got a problem because I gotta mute this. Anybody who's enlightened to reptiles, the aliens, and uh, hybrids would know that they like to rhyme. It's part of their brain. Postmodern deconstruction is politically, anatomically, and ecologically incorrect. I've been up late and much. Thank you. I'm a modern man, a man for the millennium. Example number Digital one. Smoke free. A diversified, multicultural postmodern deconstruction is politically, anatomically, and ecologically incorrect. Damn. I've been up late and downloaded. I've been inputted and outsourced. I know the upside of downsizing. I know the downside of upgrading. I'm a high-tech lowlife, a cutting-edge, state-of-the-art, bi-coastal multitasker, and I can give you a gigabyte in a nanosecond. I'm new wave, but I'm old school, and my inner child is outward bound. I'm a hot-wired, heat-seeking, warm-hearted, cool customer, voice-activated and biodegradable. I interface in my database, my database is in cyberspace, so I'm interactive, I'm hyperactive, and from time to time, I'm radioactive. <laughs> Behind the eight ball, ahead of the curve, riding the wave, dodging the bullet, pushing the envelope. I'm on point, on task, on message, and off drugs. I got no need for coke and speed. I got no urge to binge and purge. I'm in the moment, on the edge, over the top, but under the radar. A high concept, low profile, medium range ballistic missionary. A streetwise smart bomb. A top gun bottom feeder. I wear power ties, I tell power lies, I take power naps, I run victory laps. I'm a totally ongoing, bigfoot slam dunk rainmaker with a proactive outreach. A raging workaholic. A working rageaholic. Out of rehab and in denial. I got a personal trainer, a personal shopper, a personal assistant, and a personal agenda. You can't shut me up, you can't dumb me down, because I'm tireless and I'm wireless. I'm an alpha male on beta blockers. What the hell is wrong with this goddamn video? Pissing me off. Achiever, laid back, but Wasn't like that a second forward. ago. Up front, down home, low rent, high maintenance. Super size, long lasting, high definition, fast acting, oven ready, and built to last. I'm a hands on foot, loose knee jerk head case. Prematurely post traumatic, and I have a love child who sends me hate mail. 
but I'm feeling, I'm caring, I'm healing, I'm sharing. A supportive, bonding, nurturing primary caregiver. My output is down, but my income is up. I take a short position on the long bond, and my revenue stream has its own cash flow. I read junk mail, I eat junk food, I buy junk bonds, I watch trash sports. I'm gender-specific, capital-intensive, user-friendly, and lactose intolerant. <laughs> I like rough sex. I like rough sex. I like tough love. I use the F word in my email and the software on my hard drive is hardcore, no soft porn. I bought a microwave at a mini mall. I bought a minivan at a mega store. I eat fast food in the slow lane. I'm toll free, bite size, ready to wear, and I come in all sizes. A fully equipped, factory authorized, hospital tested, clinically proven, scientifically formulated medical miracle. I've been pre-washed, pre-cooked, pre-heated, pre-screened, pre-approved, pre-packaged, post-dated, freeze-dried, double-wrapped, vacuum-packed, and I have an unlimited broadband capacity. I'm a rude dude, but I'm the real deal. Lean and mean, cocked, locked, and ready to rock. Rough, tough, and hard to bluff. I take it slow, I go with the flow, I ride with the tide, I get gliding in my stride. Driving and moving, sailing and spinning, jiving and grooving, wailing and winning. I don't snooze, oh so I don't lose. I keep the pedal to the metal and the rubber on the road. I party hardy, and lunchtime is crunch time. I'm hanging in, there ain't no doubt, and I'm hanging tough over and out. Oh my God. Reptile number two. Okay, let's see here. Headhunters. I don't know who writes his lyrics. Uh, well, I know the reptilian aliens do. They give the information to the human. Reptile number three. Okay, now this uh, dude is an actor. And he is playing the part of a reptilian alien manifesting here in physical form for the time being. Network storm track computer says no. Oh yeah, this is a reptilian alien right here. They can manifest in physical form for a very short period of time. Uh, I mean, I don't know how it works. I mean, if they had technology to make them manifest as physical, then why why are they doing it in my house like every night? You know what I'm saying? So I don't know if I buy that. But yeah, it depends on the atmosphere probably. But but yes, they can manifest in physical form for a very short period of time. And this dude, Linoge is a reptilian alien. Most people that don't get the bigger picture, they just think he's a demon. But he's not. He's a reptilian alien manifesting in physical form for the time being. In this movie, Stephen King movie, Storm of the Century. Amounts of snow, so this you can add reason why it's the blackout. Now, no one wants to hear... Oh, good idea. But folks in New England area... 
I wonder if that's really an old woman or if it's a younger woman playing an old woman. I, I don't know. I just, I don't know. I just get the impression maybe it's a younger woman. Like, I don't know, maybe 59 or something like that. But it could be really an old woman. I really don't know. And the fourth reason why I know they like to rhyme is because of this other, this experience I had from a fourth dimensional alien, reptilian, that was harassing me uh, months before my awakening to the fact that they've been in my life all my life. See, uh, that just almost looks like, like a Mrs. Doubtfire kind of mask. Like, that's not really an old woman. See, I think it's like like a 50-year-old woman playing a 89-year-old part. When they tell you the world's coming to an end, they want to sell you cereal. And they tell you not to panic. It's serious. Oh, hold on. See, this is really interesting, I'm too. There as fast as I well, can. this is kind of off topic, but. I broke my hip last summer, and I'm still as slow as cold molasses. See? See how his face looks like a freaking clown? I don't think they really wrote that into the movie. Because you know how some aliens like to freaking pose as clowns to abductees, but they don't play that game with me. But see how that looks like a freaking clown, man? And uh, that, that wasn't written into the movie. That's just part of the whole Matrix written Googles and Googles and Googles of years ago. This wasn't written into the movie. It was written into the Matrix billions of years ago. This clown face right here. See how it looks like a clown? Very uh, evil clown. And actually, the, the reptilian that came and uh, manifested in physical form at the gym back in 2004, that 24-hour fitness center, kind of looked like this dude, matter of fact. No, I mean, not, not actually, he, and he also kind of looked like my um, grandfather. I mean, he was good looking, I just, he just kind of was blue collar looking with jean jacket on, and blue jeans, but he was, he was attractive, he just was very uh, fourth dimensional reptilian, but at the time I, I knew nothing about that, so I just thought he was an evil human. Yeah, he didn't try to hide his energy at all, he screamed reptilian alien, he did not hide his energy. He just was posing as a human, that's all he was doing. Because uh, they can mask their energy if they want to and give off more human energy when they manifest as physical form. Can I help you? Born in lust, turned to dust. I beg your pardon? Born in sin, come on in. Okay, and example number four. Uh, let's see here. Okay, so little shits were like freaking taunting me and shit when I moved in. Well, they've been taunting me all my life, but it was like a few uh, months, or may or maybe I don't know, six months, or maybe about a year before. My awakening that the reptilians and aliens were, were in my life all my life. They were like freaking stalking me in my virtual reality altered state. And um, like posing as redheaded women at my freaking kitchen table. And I was like walking around. I mean it was total vir virtual reality. And no wonder she made herself ha have red hair because I dated this woman in Texas. And she, she was a freaking bitch. And she had red hair. She fucking slammed me up against the wall. Um, true psycho, man.
And, um, uh, yeah, so no wonder she freaking, yeah, and she did not hide her energy. She, uh, uh, screamed, reptilian alien, posing as a redheaded woman. But I was walking around and I was like staring at her and she was just like staring at me. Wouldn't talk or anything. Just very docile or whatever. And, um, and I was just thinking, who the hell is that sitting at my kitchen table? She was posing as about 59 years old. And, uh, yeah, I just knew it was some evil woman sitting there at my kitchen table. And that was just months, you know, before my awakening about the, to the alien. And that was around 2011, 2012. Because I didn't know the aliens were in my house, and I didn't, you know, get physically abducted until... Well, no, I mean, I've been physically abducted all my life, but uh, my brain didn't ascend to see that till 2013. And, uh, um, but, but they don't do that very often, though. They do not physically suck you up out of bed very, uh, often. And they're very, very covert. But like I said, once your brain ascends to see it, they freaking cannot hide from you no matter how covert they are. They cannot block your, you know, your memory 100% at that point. Maybe 80%, but not 100%. So, um, yeah, so then it was just, I don't know, several months before my awakening or maybe a year before my awakening, I was in a groggy state in the morning time and the freaking reptilians told me this. They're like, the faster we move, the higher we fly, the more we envy thy. And I was like, I was like, what? What the fuck? I was like, Zahn, why are you telling me that? I thought it was my freaking spirit guide because that's all I knew. My spirit guide. Um. Zahn, a.k.a. Zenith. Sylvia Brown said her name was Zenith, but um, I call her Zahn. Because on the Ouija board, that's what she told me. Her name was Zahn, but they like to talk in short form on the Ouija boards. But, uh, yeah, her name is Zahn, but Zenith, too, I guess. So, yeah, the reptilian hybrids, human hybrids, and the true aliens in the, in the fourth dimension... They like to say rhymes. I don't know why, but they do. Oh, I'm sure there's millions of other examples too, but... And I kind of say some, some of my own rhymes too, but I'm not going to say them. I actually just made one up yesterday. Uh, but it's kind of crude, so I'm not going to say it. Okay, so... That is my video on reptiles, reptilians like rhymes, like to say rhymes, like to make up rhymes in the brain. Hybrids, human hybrids and reptilian aliens from the fourth dimension or interdimensional, whatever, whatever. Um, there's really not numbers to the dimensions. I mean, that's stupid. How can there be? It's all infinity. That's stupid men making up bullshit try to brainwash everybody because they think they're freaking God. They're full of shit. Okay, so there's my four examples. Thanks for listening. Over and out, and I'm going to bed.